A source close to Prince Andrew has announced that he will release a tell-all memoir and it has been pitted to be Spare 2.0. Hello Crown Crunchers, well who would have thought that Prince Harry would be an inspiration to anyone, let alone his uncle Andrew. Of course Harry's book has sold millions of copies across the world in multiple languages bringing him a handsome paycheck, but at what price? He has isolated himself from the royal family and quite frankly has given the middle finger to the monarchy and the British public. Prince Andrew, as we know, has had his fair deal of financial difficulties and scandal. The most recent one, and arguably the worst, was his intimate connection to Epstein. He attempted to clear his name in the train crash interview with BBC Newsnight. She went on to have sex with you in a house in Belgravia belonging to Ghislaine Maxwell didn't happen. Which was horrifying to watch, but the more terrifying part is he himself thought it was brilliant. That I don't sweat, um, or I didn't sweat at the time, and that was, oh, was she? Yes. I didn't sweat at the time. This absurd lack of self-awareness may lead to a book that goes even further into the details of the monarchy than that of Harry's autobiography. It's clear that since the Queen removed his honorary military affiliations and royal charitable patronages in 2022 and he resigned from public roles, he has had a reduced presence with the family. That, of course, means a reduced paycheck. Andrew denies any wrongdoing and the lawsuit for his dark involvement with Epstein was ultimately settled out of court in February 2022. But due to the overwhelming amount of evidence against him, he cannot deny his unusual friendship with the convicted Epstein. So the question is, what will he write about? Are the rumours true that he will go into details about the darkest corners of his dealings with the monarchy, as Harry did in his memoir, or will he stick to his private life and once again try to convince the public of his innocence with regards to Epstein? Now, Prince Andrew is much less of a public figure than Prince Harry, so his book is not likely to fly off the shelves like that. That of Harry's, but nonetheless, this could cause damage once again to the monarchy. It is alleged that Andrew, despite all of his flaws, was the Queen's favourite child, which is demonstrated in his financial care package of a quarter of a million per year. So it would seem there is no need for him to turn his back on the monarchy. However, in light of the success of Harry's brutal digs at his brother Prince William in spare, it is thought that King Charles will be the main target for Andrew's memoir, and that Andrew will bear all and any dirty details of his brother the king. Speculation surrounds rumours as to whether it's just a threat by Andrew to coax a large sum of money out of his brother King Charles's bank account and into his own. Let's get to the comments. Comet says, Chapter 1, Mummy Always Loved Me Best, could be all about the late Queen Elizabeth, and if that is the case, I will more than happily read it. But if it is just whining about Prince Charles, whining about how brothers can be brothers, and on a similar vein to Prince Harry's, then God forbid it's going to make Prince Andrew look even worse, if that's possible. Troy Stein says, needs to make up for the 20 million he compensated to his victim. So quite right, he's probably still paying for that, and probably will be for the foreseeable future. Debbie says, the prince of pervert, go on a privacy tour with prince and princess of crybabies, bon voyage, allegedly a pervert. The peas in a pod, more and more similar by the day. This need for attention is becoming unbearable. And in that sense, they are very, very similar. Hit the like button if you think Prince Andrew will copy Prince Harry's tell-all memoir. Thanks for watching. See you in the comments. Goodbye.